Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install the GTM Zanza mod pack on PC. You all be asking for it. Um, before we get into the video, shout out to the fans from my last video. If you wanna see yourself in the next video, just comment below and let's get into it. So, first of all, you have to have a clean GTA SA. First thing you have to do is since you have your GTA SA right here, you have a folder another folder right here you're gonna double click on this and what you're gonna do double click on that and show that double click and it's gonna ask you for the password um so 127 1901 so the best way to do this is press control and don't let go press a until it highlights like that and don't let go of control press c then enter so it's gonna take all this so what you're gonna do you're gonna right click you're gonna left click hold and highlights everything uh you let go of your left click your hand and you drag into your folder like that and you're gonna replace everything i have to go back to this now we're gonna add the mode loader and we're gonna call control you're gonna hold control on your pc and v um if you don't know understand you can just um type the password normally so i'm just gonna highlight like that drag into your game folder um cancel this open i usually don't use this asi loan organize my at this let's wait So it's gonna be like that so i usually don't use this but because i'm um, most most just crash my game so you're gonna open roska editor and you're gonna copy everything from this you're gonna highlight everything for this hold your left click when you're highlighting and move your mouse to your thing game while you're highlighting and you let go and it should be asking for the password um since i already saved the password like that so i'm gonna just let go and gonna wait for it to finish it's probably gonna take like a minute to actually extract so guys after i was done extracting all that i forgot it didn't add this so what you're gonna do you're gonna go back and go to your sample you're gonna double click on that and you're gonna type the password and you're gonna say okay it's gonna take some time to load probably like a minute or 30 seconds then it's gonna ask you for for administration permission say yes then when you come here you can read all this and agree and you have to choose where your game is for me it's i mean this pc um in gta mo for you is most likely where your game is you see this you see this this is your game address you can just go on top of here you can see what i mean though and you see this pc this pc ssd to 128 gig ssd 128 gig i open that um gta mo gta mo this is gta mo gta san andreas i don't know just you located your your game just gonna select where my game is i'm gonna say install and it's only gonna take like one second so now see it's done gonna open my now i'm gonna double click on the same i already had so for me guys it's all it recognized my old files so that's why it's done. so this is the new gta mzanzi ip you copy you like this this is the ip so what you're gonna do you're gonna go to this marker and it's if you copy it it's gonna automatically show on this or you might have to type it that 23.88.73.88 or then you're gonna put this but i will make sure i put it in a in comment and i say okay it's gonna say this server already exists on this so here so basically how this work i'm gonna say william william that's your my name then i say underscore for the underscore to, to like separate between the the name and the same name um let me so it's gonna be like name underscore same name instead of space you put that underscore like this the name so i'm gonna say william william underscore or latunji it is 17 people online so you can double click on that or you can left click just say connect it doesn't matter for me it's not gonna it's gonna okay it's opening as you can see i thought it wasn't gonna open because I, I double click it twice as you can see we in the server right now um if you're wondering um about my settings in game settings this is my in-game settings distance on the way frames of widescreen on but mostly i recommend you just and uh, this is on you bro this is on you because it's like this it makes the game white it makes it look like pc i mostly was playing on this like this when um give me a sec see so the difference between that is um just um the how this look 
so now you see it doesn't look all stretched up just depends on you so guys if you want to add some voice chat i have a tutorial on the channel on such as adding graphics adding voice chat i'm gonna see you on